Hey guys, we have made it to Thailand and we are so excited. This is the first time we've been to a country together that we both have not been before. So we are currently in Bangkok, Thailand and the weather here is amazing. So it's not as hot as Vietnam, what we're used to, but it's really tropical and nice. So right behind us, we're at Lumpini Park and this park we've heard many things about. We've heard that it's really relaxing and you can just enjoy your morning here. So that's what we thought we'd do. We'd start our morning at Lumpini Park. Yeah, so let's take a stroll and see what the park is all about. This park is quite big and we've noticed some really interesting things. So you can rent a paddle boat and paddle out by the lake. And we've also spotted lizards, huge lizards. <laughs> I was not anticipating lizards here at this park. To be honest but it is actually wild the fact that you can actually spot lizards here in a public park and that size they're big they are humongous oh. well there are so many lizards here and it's a little bit daunting because we're kind of watching where we are stepping uh, there are really big ones and then here is a smaller one and we've been at the park for definitely over an hour now it is quite hot and we are quite hungry, so we might head to our de next destination and find something to eat. So we have made our way over to Victory Monument, which we heard has incredible street food and already it is so busy. It is an area for uh, the transportation sort of hub where all the buses sort of uh, situate themselves here and that means there is a lot of food on offer. So a little background history about this place, it was made in 1941 in commemoration to the Franco-Thai War and during then they've just made an amazing hub around here. There's nothing but food here, live music as you might be able to hear in the background. But yeah, it looks really lively and nice. Okay, so we finally made it to our location. This is the Kwai Til Boat Noodles, which was hidden down a little alley. So we had to maneuver through the river side. There was a little path that we got through, but we finally got here. And what did we order? So I've opted for the glass noodle pork, uh, pork, with pork. So there is pork pieces, liver, and fish ball, I believe, with some veggies. And there are four, level, uh, four levels of spice, so I opted for a third, but I'm not too sure, so I'll go a little bit safe this time. And I got the flat noodles with beef, and mine just comes with beef mince uh, slices, sorry. And then I've thrown in some wonton skins, and then I got mine at extra spicy. So yeah. I've heard the chilies here are deadly, and I'm ready to try them. I'm going to add mine with some pork skin. Ooh. That sounds delicious you as well. Pork, which I love, oh my. I love how they give you a little basket full of them. It is so cute and it is so accessible. And what's so cute is the uh, the sizing of the item, the sorry, the bowl, it's so small, the portion. The portion size are so small. I believe you meant to eat probably three or four of these. <laughs> oh. It's a lot. I'm gonna try this on its own. On the side we also got a crispy taro bowl. And they're with grilled meat. So the grilled meat inside, I believe, is pork. Mm -hmm. And they look good. There's got a little dipping sauce on the side as well. Mm. Looks spicy, has coriander. And it smells a little bit sweet, but also uh, a little sour, maybe tamarind. Yeah, I believe so. Wow. Ooh. I want to try that first. Oh, really? Okay. I'm really hungry and I can't wait. Let's try that. Cheers. Oh, uh, spice. Mmm. Spicy. That's good. Yeah, it's really good. It's so spicy. It's so tasty. Yum. A bit sweet. And a little bit of a sour taste there. Sweet, sour, spicy. I love the meat in the inside. It's really good. It's really soft as well. And I believe this was the best seller here. Mm -hmm. So we had to order it. We saw it on the menu right after we ordered the boat noodles. But we definitely had to order this. This is really good. Wow. First impressions, a little bit pale, so it wasn't too sure. It kind of looked like a fish ball, but no, biting into it, it's soft, it's grilled, it's warm, it's pretty good. It's got the texture of a fish ball. Mm. A little chewy, mm. bouncy, but so delicious, that's so good. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And then we've got two drinks. I opted for the Thai milk tea. Comes in a cute bottle. And I got the chrysanthemum tea. Juice, sorry. Uh, a few other sauces on the side. Pickled chili. Pickled chili sauce. Dried chili. Wow, so we just add all these together? And I believe there's extra fish sauce. Alright. I'm not going to add extra chili just for now. <laughs> Actually, only, I, yeah. Only because I know that I've got an extra spicy one. I don't know why I opted for three thinking that I'll go on the safer side, but then I've, <laughs> I've added extra chili. All right. Wow, this looks good. The flat noodles look so good. Yeah, I'm going to get a bite with liver and beef. Oh, pork, sorry. Oh, I've got beef balls in mine as well, sorry. Wow, I'm going for it. Oh, and I also get some pork skin on my spoon. The crispy wontons and some pork skin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is a big monster spa. I'm gonna try this. No. Wow. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. Mm. The noodles is so soft. The wonton skin, I'm not sure if you're supposed to dip it in the sauce more, let it soak in, mm. but it changes the crunch. Super delicious. Pork skin on the side as well, I haven't tried that. That's good. I don't, my spice, uh, the spice in it is really good. The dried chili really makes it. Wow, the liver, it's creamy, and it goes really well with the pork and the noodles. The noodles aren't overcooked or anything, um, they're nice and thin. I haven't really tried it with the wonton skins because it is a little bit odd that wonton skins are this big, right? Mm. And you're right, I feel like maybe it needs to be soaked in something. I believe it's supposed to sit in there for a little bit, mm. soaking all the juices and... Mm. Okay. But nonetheless, it's delicious. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think it's from the liver. The liver's amazing. The uh, pork really makes it, the pork skin. Complements it. Pork skin? Crunch. So good. The crunch, the saltiness. Mm. Wow. That liver is so creamy. That's really good. I love boat noodles. First meal, trying this here in Thailand. I definitely rate this meal. Yeah, no, ticked off our list. Boat noodles in Thailand. What we've been waiting for. <laughs> Alright, guys, so you know we had to do it. We cut the camera short and we're like, okay, let's finish off our meal. But we had to try the other ones. So I've got the instant noodles. I wanted to try the instant noodles this time with pork because the liver was really good in the first one of Kim's. Yeah, and I've got the, what did I get? You got the glass noodles, sorry, rice noodles. Rice noodles. Yeah. Which sort of similar looks like the glass noodles, but of course a little bit different, the texture, I believe. And then on the side of mine, I've got the small noodles. So it's, I believe it's rice noodles as well. It's the original, so on the menu it's the original. And so we ordered a few things and then we realized, oh, we better try the original. Because it was all the way at the top and we didn't notice it when we first ordered. Mm. And don't judge us guys, but these really are bite sized I mean, if I hold up all these noodles, that's all the reason one bowl. So I'm it's... having my second bowl and Dion's <laughs> gonna go for his second and third. And I'm it's hungry. An incredible meal. Well, I've gone up a notch, so I've gone for the highest level of spice, and I am loving it. And I believe the sauce that you're supposed to put in it, if you want it a little bit tangy or fishier, I believe it's a light kind of fish sauce with okay. just lemon on it. A lemon and fish sauce, I believe. Alright, not too sure to put a lot or a little, so I put a think in between. That's good. And I'm gonna try it. It reminds me, the taste reminds me of like a yam mama kind of those silver pack noodles. Um, Yamama noodles, nice and fishy but spicy and meaty, porky. Oh, that's really good. Mm. Super spicy, not gonna lie. I love the spice here in Thailand. Wow, this definitely changes it. I'm not too sure what that is. Let me try it on my spoon. But wow, going for the extra spicy to the level 4 uh, hits differently, it tastes much better. It right. does. Oh, what is that? It's very salty. Very, very salty. It's like a salty MSG. I'm not sure if it's MSG. Mixture maybe? It's a weird concoction, but it's really good. It gives it much, a lot of flavour. You don't need much because it's very salty. It's very strong. Yeah. My noodles now, I, I'm liking this more than the glass noodles before. This has more of a chew texture and um, it complements the dish. Uh, well. I'm sorry, I had to take a bite in front of you. 
egg noodles. I know it's just instant noodles, but not gonna lie, every bowl just gets better and better. This is really good. Yeah. Wow. Enough eating, I need to try this drink. Chrysanthemum juice, and Kim's got the... Thai tea. Yum. That's good. That's very... Oh, it's mm. a little bit sweet for my liking. It's chrysanthemum juice. It's like a um, concentrated juice. It's very strong. Very sweet, sorry. Mm. This tea goes really well with the noodles because it's very salty and spicy, and then you can cleanse it, cool it down with the tea. Incredible, incredible meal. Alright guys, that was Toy Kway Teal and that place was amazing. Kim had to drag me out by my feet. <laughs> it was super affordable, so everything totaled to 209 baht, which is so incredible. We had five bowls of the boat noodles, two sticks of, uh, four sticks of skewers, two drinks and also the add-on, so the wonton skins and the pork skin as well. And so each bowl, 15 baht, so affordable. I had two and that is less than a dollar. We are so impressed with just how affordable Thailand has been so far. Thai food around here has been amazing, not gonna lie. Victory Monument has so much food here, so many street vendors and so much food to try. Unfortunately, we can't try them all. But now let's head to our next destination. One of the largest shopping centers in the world. Wow. I think it is top nine in the world, and this place is humongous. As you can see, there's traffic everywhere, there's people everywhere, and there's so many shops around. Yeah, let's head on in and see what it's all about. All right, guys, so we finally made it to the top. So the top is Top's Food Hall. So there's a bunch of restaurants here, little vendors that sell all sorts, uh, grocery stores, and everything. And yeah, there's heaps here. Two levels of cinemas actually, which is quite incredible and there is a lot going on leading up to the Lunar New Year So lots of promotions, lots of performances and a huge decoration of the dragon From the ground floor all the way to the top, which is pretty spectacular There's so much going on like Kim mentioned. I could literally spend a whole day here But um, yeah, let's go around and try to check some stuff out I am stunned. So we are in the supermarket and we just popped in to buy a water bottle but we have just come across something so crazy. So there is all these stations, cooking stations, where you can cook, uh, pick your own sort of steak and they'll cook it for you. And there's lots of other stations, so I'm not sure what else they cook for you but there's a lot. Mm. Yeah, there's, it seems like there's like about four different diners or like little kitchens and they all have different things. So one section has pizza, another has seafood, steaks and roast meat. And it's crazy. It's incredible. It's in a supermarket. <laughs> you think mind blown? Yeah, no. You'd think that there's so much street vendors outside, but you go into a shopping center and there's a, a bunch there as well. This is fancy. It's a fine dining in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So after all that walking at Central World, we <laughs> needed some food. So what better way than Jod Fair? So Jod Fairs is the most popular street food market, night market, sorry, in Bangkok and we are so excited to be here. Let's make our way and eat. Let's go. This market, so far so good. We are seeing very interesting things. It's not your usual market. So there is massages on site and there's actually a line. There's, people are waiting to get a massage. How crazy. Mm. Not, is, not so. only a massage though, <laughs> there's a bar right next door. Yeah, bar next door. You can have a sip, uh, you can have a drink while you're waiting for your massage. And also there is a lot of clothing, very, very affordable clothing, starting from 100 baht. Wow, we are pretty impressed so far, but let's get our first uh, street food. Alright, so not going to lie, we've had a little sus of this market, so we've gone up the street, uh, looked at all the clothing and the gadgets and all, but then we've gone down to the other laneway where they sell food. And I'm starving at this point, so I'm really hungry. And I thought, okay, let's get food. And Kim said, let's try this. So we've got scorpion. <laughs> and this is what Kim wants to start off on. And I know that she's not going to have any, so I'm going to have most of it. But I think it's seasoned, I'm not sure. It's crispy and looks amazing. Oh, it looks really crispy. Oh, the seasonal salt and pepper. 
But it's super crispy, the claws are super crispy. I'll try the actual head of it. Oh, that's not bad, it's really good. It's crunchy, the salt and pepper, the seasoned well. Really nice, but I really want to get food, so let's go find food. Alright, so since Dion has gone on camera to say that I am not trying any and I've watched him try it, it looks okay. I don't want to touch it physically, so I, can you please feed it for me? It's really good. It's crunchy, it's crispy, no guts or anything. Mm -hmm. But it's really nice. It's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's a really nice snack. Mmm, it seasons really well. But the body, I am not brave enough to try that at all. No. Yum. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's soy sauce on it. It's some good crunch. Yum. It's so crunchy. I love really it. Good. It's actually good. <laughs> okay, so first official snack. The other one, yes, I was a <laughs> snack, but this one, I guess we would consider it real food. <laughs> it is grilled jellyfish. Mm. Crazy, look at it. Ooh. Ooh. It looks, right. yeah, it looks good. Try it. I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Wow. Try that. Mm -hmm. The texture. Oh. It's like crunchy, crunchy. It's crunchy ligaments, like mm. crunchy ligaments. It tastes like, mm -hmm. but it also has the texture of like tripe. Yes. And then they've also seasoned off with some spices. It's like a chili, a uh, spicy chili sauce, it's a green chili, I believe it is. That's but yeah, it's not too bad. Really interesting. I mean, if I, I can't even tell that that's jellyfish. It only tastes like what you said, tripe and uh, ligaments. Mm. Not bad. Not bad. But let's go try some find <laughs> some real food. <laughs> So number two on our three. So number three on our list, actual food. <laughs> so we've got fried liver and the fried pork. Fried liver looks like that. And then a brick of sticky rice and a spicy sauce. Mm. I'm not sure if you're gonna see that, but this sauce looks so spicy actually. Yeah. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Six small. Oh, this way. Okay. Let's dip it. That looks spicy. So it was fermented spicy sauce, right? Like yeah. I believe it's fermented fish sauce. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's hot. Mm. That's spicy. That's good. Mmm. Yum. It really kicks you. Holy. Sticky rice. It really kicks you in the back of your throat. It's so mm. spicy. There's so much flavors on it. It's like fish essence, mm. chili, garlic, I believe. Wow, the texture of the mm. liver is quite good. It's a little bit, uh, not too tough on the outside, but the inside is creamy. And oh wow. You definitely need some sticky rice with mm. that. The more I'm eating the it better. so wrong. Yeah. The more sauce the better, but it is wow. That's how you so do it. So just some sticky wow. rice, some chili, down the hatch. Wow, mm. that's good. And the next skewer. Next skewer's pork. Oh. Looks good. Same thing, let's try this. My mouth is on fire, that's actually so spicy. Mm. 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 Oh. A little bit chewy. Yeah. A little bit sweet, it's glazed. I believe it's like a honey glaze. Mm. Not bad. Mm. To be honest, I reckon I like the liver a lot more. Mm. I love the heartiness of the liver. Fuse with the chili, that's really good. Yeah, I think with the sauce, the sauce really makes it taste so much more better. Mm. Wow, much better. Ooh. And I lo I'm loving the spice here. Not gonna lie, today I've loved the spice. The boat noodles was amazing, this is amazing. Mm. Loving the spice here. Ooh, next on our 
Loose and this is the one that we've been waiting to try and let's like that it's near the night market. So what we have is the raw prawns. And I believe they've been marinated. There's a lot of chili and garlic, I believe there's fish sauce, lemon and my mouth is salvatating. Wow, there's a lot of garlic on that and there's also an extra sauce on the side. Spicy, maybe a bit lemony, not too sure. Whoa. But oh wow, I am ready. Oh, let's try these. So both the head and the tail is still intact. Um, so I'm not too sure how we're going to tackle this one. Right. I might just Give us a moment, I'm going to bite the head off to this. Okay, I'll do the same. Wow. All right. Mm. Already the marinade tastes amazing. Whoa. The head has so much flavor. So much juices. All right. I'm going to try to dip mine in the sauce. And then I'm going to bring it back over here. This is a mess, but we're loving it. <laughs> mm. Hey, my turn. I've mm. now full the sauce. Let's go for it. Wow. Oh. That's tasty. It's so tasty. Wow. Ooh. It has such a. It's like a glazy, creamy texture. Mm -hmm. Yum. Wow. A nice little bite mm. down on it. Creamy, kind of oozing thing. Um, not in a bad way. and. It's just such a distinct taste. Wow, it's so I've never nice. had something like this before. That's so good. Wow, it's such a mess to eat, but so worth it. Honestly, mm. that's really good. Not gonna, spicy though. I'm gonna go for another one. But yeah, it's it's definitely not spicy. So it is marinating in their sauce. It's got chilies and garlic, like we mentioned. But yeah, it, it doesn't infuse into the meat itself. I can only taste that kind of soy base on the um, prawns. Yeah, so it's a soy base as well, not a. Uh, I'm gonna try to eat it with the chili on top and the garlic. Wow. I'm just gonna eat the garlic and chili separate. Mmm. Much better. And the garlic and the chili. Whoa. That's good. That is so good. Whoa. That's unbelievably good. I'm happy. Alright guys, so we finished up with the prawns and we're walking around the market. We've gone to pretty much all the lanes so far, but I think what we might try to do is try to find some dessert. Yeah. We have noticed in this market you can do pretty much everything. You can get your eyes checked, there's a machine for it to get prescription glasses if you need. And then also you can get your nails done as well as eyelashes, which is such an incredible thing to see in a night market, honestly. Yeah, really unique. Alright, lucky last. So we have sticky rice. So what better way to end the night market than sticky rice? And I know, I've heard that this is obviously a must try when you're in Thailand. But we've got it here first on the first night. So we've got sticky rice, we've got the mango, and then we've got coconut cream that I just poured on. And I'm ready to try it. It looks incredible. Everything here tonight has been incredible and we've tried some very unique and different things too. All right, I'll give you the first bite. No, no, no you go first. All right. Mm. Oh. The mango is soft and sweet. It's different from the mangoes that we're used to. We're used to the raw mangoes. Oh, yeah. That's so good. That looks good. That's so good. So, the rice itself, it's nice and salty. It's got, I believe it's sugar and a little bit of salt. Mm. And it tastes amazing. Wow. I'll give you some. So that's just a mango. Ooh, mango's so good. good. Wow. And the rice. Yum. Yum, mm. That's so good. That's a really good dessert. It's not too sweet. It's just ripe. But the sugar on top of the rice wow. makes it so much better. Wow. So much better. That coconut is really good. Super, super fresh. Mm. I love that. That's so good. All right, guys. So that is the end of the food night market. Not gonna lie, I wish we covered a lot more foods, but unfortunately today we did nothing but eat. Today has been a very long day, very amazing first day, and 
we have a habit of just checking out places for far too long. So then we get too exhausted and it just is the longest day ever, which we're not complaining. We love it. We love traveling and we hope you guys enjoyed this video. In terms of first impressions, this was the first time that we visited a country together that we both have never been to Thailand. And what were your thoughts? I love the culture. The culture in Thailand is amazing. Everyone's really nice. The atmosphere is really refreshing. It's really tropical. It's a little hot, but there's gentle breeze every now and then. The food, I mean, don't get me started on the food. The food is amazing. I can't get sick of it. I wish we could try way more food than we did, but there's always tomorrow. Yes, there's always tomorrow. That's exactly right. My first impressions, I love the hustle and bustle. Of course, we live in Vietnam at the moment and it is very busy, but Thailand is different. There's tuk-tuks, there's buses without, you know, the doors are open and the windows are not even there, non-existent. And it's very interesting as well. One very strange but interesting and unique fact about Thailand, I guess, is that they have legalized, um, I guess, marijuana, which we have seen around. And that was a big shock to us. We were like, wow, that is so intense. We've never seen anything like it. But I guess that's what makes Thailand so different and so unique. And I like that about that. I like that it's not also um, used out in public as well. That's another factor. I haven't smelt it, but we've seen a lot of dispensaries. Well, we think we're going to have an amazing time here in Thailand and we hope you guys follow along with our series so make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for your support. We'll see you guys in the next.